Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. Today I am reviewing the 2023 horror movie, The Boogeyman, based on Stephen King's short story of the same name. This one stars Sophie Thatcher, David Dasmalshin, I'm sorry if I got that wrong, Vivian Lyra, Chris Messina, Madison Hugh, and Marin Ireland. Anyways, I don't know why I had so many problems with those names. Anyways, let's jump right into the review. Okay, so The Boogeyman 2023. Uh, I did not read reread the short story uh, before I watched the movie, uh, and I really wish I would have because I do not remember much about the story, which is kind of funny because I don't remember a whole hell of a lot about this movie, and I literally just watched it last night. I remember enjoying it. I remember throughout the movie saying, this is really good for what it is. And then a night went by, I came out here to shoot my review, and I literally had to look up the plot on uh, on Wikipedia. None of that sounds familiar. I almost thought that I had not actually watched this one, that I had watched another film called The Boogeyman, because there's a bunch of them out there. But I went back to... Uh, I believe it was Paramount Plus or Hulu. I can't remember which one I watched it on, but uh, I went back and checked, and we, we'd actually watched it. Um, also, looking up the creature images, I remember the creature, and the creature is a standout point for me, at least. Um, with Now, I need to, get, I need to preface what I'm going to say next with uh, my review for Grim Cuddy. Uh, most people... Uh, disagreed with me and I knew it was coming. Uh, I have a very weird taste when it comes to creature features. Uh, what I what I like, what I don't like. I really enjoyed the character design, the creature design of Grim Cuddy in that one. Other than when he was shown from a distance, uh, in this one, I feel the same way. Uh, when when he was when he's shown from far away, he wasn't anywhere near as creepy as he was up close, or maybe that's a mental thing. I don't know. There is a really cool original aspect to the creature. I don't know how original it is. It's basically something inside the mouth uh, that I was rather impressed with, and I didn't I, I didn't see coming. Um, I, I figured we were going with a very basic shadowy creature, and that's not what you get at all. So 10 out of 10 for the for the creature design, in my opinion. Uh, as far as the characters, um, I don't remember anybody except for the guy who plays Lester Billings. And the only reason I remember that name is because I looked up the, the actor who played him. And I... It felt forced. Uh, the, it's one, one of those things where... I, I don't know, man. It's like he, he seemed awkward, not in an acting sort of way. The guy seemed awkward like he was having problems with his lines. I don't, I don't know. Um, so the two things that I remember is the creature and Lester Billings. Uh, as far as the story, I don't have any idea how well uh, it, it adapts the short story. Uh, the Boogeyman has never been a favorite of mine. I've read it like two or three times, but... I, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head if this is an accurate representation of that story. I don't believe it is because the story is rather short from what I do remember. And this is a hour and a half movie. Um, anyways, I, I'm sorry for this uh, review where I'm just like, I don't remember much about that. But I, I did want to bring this up here uh, and give you my thoughts on the film because it's pretty it's pretty bad when you watch a movie and you know the night before and you can't remember it the very next day and I can't even blame my my gummy or anything else because I've watched several movies the past couple of well past week and a half and I remember all of those just fine uh but with this one I am I'm trying trying my best now what I what might have happened is I might have been picking on the movie while I was watching it and not paying attention. Uh, but also, I'm, I've been reading reviews from people, and a lot of people agree that this movie isn't memorable. It's not going to stick with you. Uh, I'm trying to go back through uh, other Stephen King adaptations that are that are like this one, where it's a good one-time watch, but you're probably never going to watch it again. And I can think of a couple of them. Uh, I think The Golden Years, which I have never reviewed. I haven't watched it since it first came out. 
Uh, that's one that's just kind of forgettable. Uh, oddly enough, Sleepwalkers. No one ever talks about Sleepwalkers. It's not a terrible movie. It's got some really great stuff in it. It's got some really funny scenes, the corn cob. Um, uh, there's a couple of other movies out there. Sometimes they come back. Uh, th that's another one that just kind of came and went. The Mangler. Uh, same thing. It's usually the short stories that stray pretty far away from King's uh, original idea that kind of just, you know, fizzle out, you know, and, and go away. So, uh, Lawnmower Man, but Lawnmower Man was absolutely terrible. I'm trying to think of the good ones. Anyways, if you can think of more middling, uh, or mid, as the kids are saying, if you can think of more mid Stephen King adaptations, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Um, I have a, I have an idea for a series of, uh, you know, getting, instead of getting King wrong, getting King right, maybe getting King in the minute I don't I don't know let me let me know what you guys think about that kind of series down there in the doobly-doo uh but yeah I'm I before I came out here to film this I was sitting pretty at a 3.5 but the fact that I can't remember anything about this movie I'm gonna go ahead and give it two um so I didn't tell you guys that up front for those of you who like to just get my you know get my rating and move on watch it for yourself um I, I do, I, I am really disappointed because this is Rob Savage, uh, the same guy that did Host, I believe, uh, the same director, and this one, while it was shot beautifully, um, it looked really good, I remember saying that while I was watching it, uh, it didn't hit anywhere near as hard as Host, uh, so I'm, I'm hoping this is like probably not a sophomore effort, I think he's done other things in between, but uh, let's hope this is just a one-off and uh, his other films are more memorable from here on out. But anyways, have you seen The Boogeyman? Uh, let me know what you thought about it down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.